Hello and welcome to HD Calcs. I'm Rick and in this video we're going to have a look at how we can use the equation solver to solve complex equations as well as store and recall equations for later use on the Casio FX CG50 graphing calculator. If you don't have one of these calculators but would like one, check the link in the description below. To do this, we'll use the menu key that looks like this located here, the shift key that looks like this located here, the alpha key that looks like this located here, and the F1 through F6 keys that look like this located across the top here. To get started using the equation solver, first we have to navigate to it. To find it, we press the menu key to go to the main menu screen. And then we see down here, equation. So if we scroll down to, and to the right, one, we'll highlight the equation app, select it with the EXE key, and see this screen here. Now we want to select F3, Solver. So we press F3, and that brings us to this screen here. If we haven't entered any equations before, this will be blank. Let's start by trying out a simple equation. Let's say we wanted to find the area of a rectangle with a width of 5 and a length of 10. We know this is our equation here. A, or area, is equal to W for width times L for length. To enter this equation on our screen, we can start with the A, and to enter letters, we hit alpha first. And then select the red letter above the key. So we see alpha A here. There we go, A, and then the equals. For the equals, we go shift, and then the decimal key. There we go, A equals W, so alpha W times L, so alpha L. There we go, we've got our equation entered. When we're done, we can hit EXE. And that brings all our variables onto our screen here. For our equation again, we have an area of a rectangle with a width of 5 and a length of 10, and we want to solve for the area. So for A or area, we'll leave that blank, scroll down to W, which was 5, and hit EXE, and then L for length was 10. We can enter that, again hit EXE, and then scroll up to what we want to solve for, which was the A for area, and hit F6 for solve. And there we go. We get A is equal to 50. If we want to go back, we can hit the F1 or repeat. OK, let's say we wanted to use the same equation but we wanted to find an area of 60. Well, for that, we would change A to 60. And then we need to solve for either our width or our length to get an area of 60. Let's hold the length of 10 and solve for a width. So we highlight that and hit F6 Solve. And we see that gives us a width of 6, which makes sense because if we held our length of 10, we know 6 times 10 would give us an area of 60. All right, let's say we're given this problem. An object is thrown at an initial velocity v and takes time t to reach height h. If h is 14 meters, t is 2 seconds, and g, or gravity, 
is 9.8 meters per second squared, find the initial velocity v. This is our equation here that we'll use. We can go back to our equation screen by hitting F1 or the repeat key. There we go. Now, if we're done with this equation, we can delete it with the F2 to delete the formula. So we'll press F1. And we've cleared our equation screen. And we can now enter our new equation. So we'll go alpha h equals v t minus 1 over 2. So we'll do the fraction 1, 2. There we go. G, so alpha G, alpha T squared. So we can use the x squared. There we go. We've entered our equation. And hit EXE. Now we can enter our variables. We're trying to find V, so that's the one we'll leave blank. First is h. That was 14 meters. Again, v is our unknown, so we'll leave that blank. Scroll down to t, which is 2. And our g is 9.8. There we go. And to solve it, we scroll up, highlight our V, and hit F6 for solve. And we see we get a result of V equals 16.8. And again, we can go back with the F1 or repeat key. Now, what if we want to enter and store a number of equations for future use? Well, you can see here, F1, we have the recall option. If we hit that, we can see it brings us to this menu here, where we have a bunch of Y options where we can enter formulas or equations for use. Right now, we have none entered or saved. If we want to enter and store an equation here, we can do that by going back to the main menu screen and scrolling over to graph and selecting that. And here we see the graph function screen with the same y equation variables. This is where we can enter and store formulas for later use and recall them when we need them. Let's enter something simple here. Let's go alpha x equals alpha a plus alpha b. And we can save it with the exe key. There we go. Our equation has been entered. We can enter more equations here and have quite a few options to store and recall different equations. But we've got this one entered now. And if we go back to our menu and into our equation app and back to our F3 solver, and now we can recall that equation with the F1. There we go. We select it. And we have that equation entered here. Just hit exe one more time. We have that a variable saved from our last equation, but we can overwrite that here. Let's do something basic. Let's just do 1 for our a and 2 for our b. 
solve for x. And see, we get x equals 3, which is correct. And again, when we're done, we can go F1 to go back to our main equation screen. And if we're done working with our equation solver, we can just hit the menu key to go back to the main menu. Thanks for watching, everybody. I really hope this has been helpful. If it has, you can help me out by hitting that like button and subscribe for more calculator tips in the future. And as always, good luck on those tests out there, everybody. You've got this.